The dry reforming of methane is a process that converts methane and carbon dioxide into singas, a mixture of hydrogen and carbon monoxide. It is relevant due to its capacity to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, utilizing CO2 as a raw material. Additionally, it exhibits high energy efficiency and produces valuable chemicals and fuels. The process is suitable for converting biogas and natural gas into singas and serves as an efficient chemical energy transmission system. In summary, dry reforming of methane is crucial for mitigating climate change, generating valuable products, and utilizing residual resources. In 2007, J. Angel Menendez and colleagues from the MCAT group at Incar CSC of Spain published the pioneering paper Microwave-Assisted Dry Reforming of Methane, presenting a method for converting methane and carbon dioxide into singas using microwave-assisted dry reforming. The process is carried out over activated carbon, acting as a catalyst and microwave receptor. The study finds that the process effectively produces singas with high hydrogen and carbon monoxide yields. Microwave use allows for faster reaction times and lower operating temperatures compared to traditional reforming methods. The results suggest that microwave-assisted dry reforming could be a promising approach for singas production from methane and carbon dioxide, with potential applications in fuel and chemical production. During the study, conventional and microwave heating were investigated to compare both heating devices. Microwave heating achieved higher conversions of methane and carbon dioxide. Different operating variables were studied under microwave heating to determine optimal conditions. An optimum temperature range between 700 degrees Celsius and 800 degrees Celsius was established, where dry reforming is believed to occur through a combination of methane decomposition and CO2 gasification. Carbonaceous deposits resulting from methane decomposition are constantly gasified by CO2, regenerating active centers for the dry reforming reaction. Small increases in CO2 feed proportion led to significant increases in both conversions, especially for methane. Lower volumetric hourly space velocity resulted in higher conversions. In a subsequent study titled, Study of Energy Consumption in a Laboratory Pilot Plant for the Microwave-Assisted CO2 Reforming of Methane, the same authors estimated energy consumption values in a pilot plant treating 1 cubic meter per hour of methane. The estimated energy consumption was 44.4 kilowatts per hour per cubic meter of hydrogen produced, using activated carbon as a catalyst, and 4.6 kilowatts per hour per cubic meter of hydrogen produced, with a mixture of carbon plus nickel supported on alumina as a catalyst. Comparing these estimates with bibliographic values for steam methane reforming, 1.2 kilowatts per hour per cubic meter of hydrogen produced, and considering the scaling factor, it is concluded that microwave-assisted CO2 reforming of methane over mixtures of activated carbon and metal-based catalyst is a promising process capable of competing with steam reforming.